Hello everyone, welcome back to Rancher Rivershine. We are doing the beta testing for the next update. We have full training, we have horse personalities, we have travel stones, we have foraging for some specific items, horse heights. Um, oh my god, let's dive into it. Uh, let's go. Let's go see what we've got, right? This just dropped today. You can see right ahead of me, there's a travel stone. Um, we can't interact with it yet, I don't believe, because, you know, we haven't got any of the ingredients, we haven't got the quests. So these are going to be what the travel stones look like. Um, I've got all these quests to help on my kid, uh, help on my town neighbors. Oh, pretty girl, what are you doing in here? Oh, look at this pretty girl. It's been a while since I've been on this save. Oh, look, see, 14 hand filly. So this, this baby is 14 hands. So this... I've had this this filly for a, a bit now, but I just logged in and she's 14 hands. Before this, all horses were 15 hands in Rancher River Train, every single one, even the babies. But she's a 14 hand horse. She's a silver buttermilk done Tobiano. Oh my God! Oh, she's got the carrying treat. She can eat up to two. She can eat up to two treats a day. She's competitive. She gains extra speed during competitions. She's strong, so her endurance skill is twice as fast. What? Oh, this is a new feature too, tameness. Tameness determines how responsive your horse will be to your commands. A fully tamed horse will always listen to you, meaning that we can get some horses that won't listen to us. Oh my, her stats aren't great. They're all beginner, except for jump. Wow, flex is bad, but she's so pretty. Okay, so let's... Oh, wow, this is really, okay, so yeah. I don't know how much money I have on this, but she's 14 hands and we've got the horse personalities. Let's go. I am super excited about this. Like I said, I haven't been on this save in a fair bit. I've been playing other saves, so I might forget which horses I have, so don't, don't at me. <laughs> um, okay, so she, okay, so this was the one that I, this was one that I bred. If I remember right, yes. Fairy Spark and Lively Mound. Okay, so I was just just on this one, wasn't I? Let's go out and look at the crowd here. Okay, so this is Opal, I think. Fire Opal, yep, okay. So Fire Opal is a popular. So she would sell, she's 15 hands. She would sell for more in the auction house. She's caring. <gasps> fertile breeding is always successful. What do they mean by, oh, she's fertile. The caring trade is fertile. So, the breeding is always successful. Well, that's nice. And she trains endurance skill twice as fast. That's cool. And she does have 100% tameness and 100% trust. Okay. So let's see. What about you, little dude? This is an 8.3 hand. This is because it's a baby. So it's not going to be the, this isn't the whole size. But I love that she's putting the hands up. So caring trade is elegant. This foal's coat will always stay clean and it's a dapple light chestnut. The earning trade is vigorous. So this horse will lose less energy per competition. And the training trait is adventurous. This horse will lose less energy while training out on trails. Like, oh my goodness. 100% tameness. So I probably don't have to brush him or her. He's so cute. Have a treat, boo boo. No, oh, look at the little pink nose. Okay, I am just super excited about this. I get to go see all my horses. Where's where's the rest of them? Where's everybody? Okay, so this is I've got some horses in the breeding pen. <laughs> I got the wrong one. Fairy Spark is pregnant, so I can remove all the horses. Now, what are you? What are you, sweetheart? Fifteen hand mare. This is Stormy. Um, she was caught in the wild, so her training trait is clever. Earn one potential point per one day. So she just gains potential just by being. Oh my gosh, and her carrying trait is mysterious. She never poops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no comment. I hope she doesn't colic. Her earning trait is is vigorous so she loses less energy for competition all right stormy you never poop us so i never have to clean her stall who is sneaking up behind me but she's a really pretty girl 
She's a dapple black that I caught in the wild. Okay, so where are my kids here? So this is my stallion. Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Dang it. Not what I wanted, not at all what I wanted to do. Whoops. Okay, so he's a 15 hand stallion. Nope, really? <clears throat> Come here. Oh my God, that bug. Oh. Okay, so he's a 15 hand stallion. He's a dapple sandy chestnut. His training trait is affectionate. He gains trust skill twice as fast. So his caring trait is fertile. Breeding is always successful with him, so that's awesome. His earning trait is harvester. We gain forage twice when collecting it. Wait, what? Harvester. Gain, so wait, so we can harvest off the horses now? What? What, wait, what? Can we? I gotta try this out now. Can we harvest off our horses, really? That would be insane, having not to get off your horse. Right now I'm gonna go check, no, I didn't wanna do that. Oh my God, save me from my own horses. No, run away, run away, run away. <laughs> oh, stop. Stop, kids. Thank you. Okay, let me talk to this. <laughs> let me talk to these guys. Okay, so Vibrant Blizzard is 15 hands. Uh, training trait is Agile. She trains Flex Skill twice as fast. Her training trait is Gourmand. Gourmet, I think it's supposed to be. Can eat up to two trees per day. Her earning trait is Superstar. She earns burn it, bleh, bonus money per competition. Lovely. Okay, <laughs> I can't see, you can't see him because of the fence, but he's a 15 hand stallion, Black Bay Tobiano. His training trait is bouncy, trains jump skill twice as fast. His training, his caring trait is elegant, code always stays clean. Wait, finds gold while collecting, whoa, 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 whoa. Gold, we have gold in the game. Find gold while riding. Well, you know I gotta try that out. So I gotta go. Do River George. I want to know how, how we get gold. All right, George, where are you, dude? Quest. I've been looking forward to this delivery. Thank you, Missy. What delivery? I didn't have anything. There's something else I wanted to talk to you about if you don't mind lending me your ear. I've been catching a glimpse of a horse at night recently. Uh-oh. I could hardly see it through the darkness, but it seemed to have these really odd markings. I haven't seen a horse like that since our last Rivershine Champions. Hopefully this isn't just my imagination. Keep an eye out for me. I'm glad to be here. Be glad to hear of someone else seeing it. Did we have a ghost horse? Okay. So obviously I somehow collected things for River and George and Liam um, because I didn't, don't think I had it on story mode, but apparently I did. We're waiting for your visit, a well for wild sprouts gift, but I also had this odd dream I've been wanting to tell you about. The, have you noticed the odd travel stones we have around town and on your ranch? Yes, I just noticed them. In my dream, I saw the shadow of a horse traveling from one to the other. I'm not sure what it all meant, but you should keep an eye out on those. Okay, so obviously I have missed something. George, where'd you go? George, where'd you go? Oh. George, you cannot go home for lunch right now. I need to talk to you, dude. Oh, wow, not that close. And I'm not, not like that. E. Hit E for talk. So shop. She wants an herbal remedy, so she wants three of those. I don't know what she wants an herbal remedy for. When she could go to George and buy it. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'm reading this. Oh, there's a quest. The gift will be perfect. I'm sure Goldtron will be happy to receive it. Come back to explore around the meadow. You should really have a look at those old stone circles on the ground. I swear I've seen them glowing, but every, anytime I get closer, it fades out. You have a feeling they might be meant for me and Sneaky Wolf instead. And if nothing happens, well, forget I said all that silly stuff. Okay, so we have to go to 
first we're going to go to river and then we're going to go to lupine lupine meadow and see what we can find because that's odd come here river oh. okay so i've got a quest so I, she just finished getting everything ready with liam so that overgrown rundown round pen on your ranch that's as good as new now it'll be the best place to train your foals and wild horses so that they are attentive and calm once it's time to ride them. I'm sure you haven't had too much trouble with your horses tame this yet since you got them from the auction house, but when you raise your own foals or bring wild horses back, it's going to be a whole different challenge. They won't quite be tame. <laughs> well, no, they'll be wild. And so they might not always listen to your commands and just buck instead. In the round pen, you'll safely be able to train and tame them at the same time. Just make sure to calm them down if they buck instead of listening to you and they'll improve in no time. Run back home and check it out. Um, okay, so we have another quest. Thank you for bringing me these gifts. I'm sure you've already heard talks of a horse with unique markings galloping around the tra trails. Don't worry, I haven't been able to catch a glimpse of it either. Legendary horses like that only reveal themselves when they decide to, if they ever do. Well, enough tales. I've got to give, bring these gifts over to Desert Rose's statue. Desert, Desert Rose? Which one is Desert Rose? Okay, wait. Desert. Wait, hang on. Uh, quest. So, Wild Sprout, Gold Charm, Red Wine, Gallant Deer, Sunday Cheer. <gasps> Desert Rose is Azure Coast. We don't have Azure Coast yet, do we? Oh, crap. Mm -mm. It didn't mention anything in the notes about Azure Coast, but she's already doing the statue for Azure Coast. So, let's go. Um, Liam's not in town today, but let's go and see. God, we went from 88,000 to 105. Oh, he just found 204 gold coins. Holy crap. Oh my God. <laughs> what the heck? Well, that was unexpected. He was just, so it is collecting. You just ride around and he automatically finds money. Okay, so I'm wondering. So, oh, okay, here it is. Select, oh wow, select a trail, ranch, town, meadow, lake, or mountain. Ranch, town, meadow, lake. So Crystal Lake, Rocky Mountain, Lupine Meadow, town, or my ranch. But, so isn't, isn't there a quest to do this though? Um, okay, so let's go back. Because I thought that there was something that we would have to, to do. For this maybe it's maybe it's not maybe then because they're all glowing now so maybe it was just talking to river and they're not giving me the crystal lake i'm not the crystal lake the azure trail one so so let's look on the map so there's one over here there's one here there's one god that's a lot of travel stones there's one over here, and then there's one to the pasture. So you can pretty much travel anywhere you want within, but it didn't give me that option. So if this guy can pick up money from just anywhere, then that, you're gonna need a notebook to write down who does what now. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, he just found another 143 gold. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this just says Meadow, Lake, Ranch, Town. So if I choose Lake, oh, so when you click on it, it'll say, do you want to go to the trail entrance, the statue, the training arena, the jump area? Oh my God. The flexibility training arena, Ranch, it'll, you can either go to your entrance, the stable, or your house. Interesting. Oh, that's hilarious. You can go to Aisha's speed area, the training arena, the statue, or the trail entrance. Oh my God, this is like a game changer. The jump area, the, oh my God. Okay, let's, let's, let's pick ranch and we're gonna go to the stable. Have, oh, travel to your location. <laughs> Hit the big button at the top of it. 
Wow, we're home. Look at that. How interesting is that? Okay, okay. That's pretty cool. All right, so you're good. Your care isn't all the way. I need to brush you. Okay, okay, so that's really interesting. So, oh, actually, I, I want to get the other horse that's a collector. I just got to remember who it was. Whoops. Ah, come back. Was it you? Harvester. Yep. This guy. Okay, so we're going to go here and we're going to go talk to Liam and see if we if we see anything on the ground if we run over it maybe he harvests it because that would be really helpful in not having to get on and off your horse all the time when you want to go harvest stuff you just go run you just run over it with this particular characteristic watch me not find anything <laughs> oh my god oh there's a carrot and there's some Right, let's back up, let's back up. Nope. Okay, so... Okay, so how is he a harvester then? I'm confused. Gain four... Okay, so gain four is twice as fast when collecting it. Okay, so... Boo. So that means I still basically have to, whoop, not what I wanted to do. So I still have to, so we got two carrots and we got two wood shavings. Okay, all right, so, um, all right. It was a wish. At least we get double, so that I means that's something. So this is gonna be interesting to see what we do. So the, I'm loving the horse personalities. That's really interesting. When we get a wild horse, because so far I've got 100% tameness when we get a wild horse. Oh, I could have just traveled. Here's me forgetting we have travel stones now. Whoa. Er. Hey, Liam. Thank you for bringing me this gift. You know, I've been seeing these odd shapes from the corner of my eye around the forest. Like a horse, I think. I can never get a good look at it. Zipping through the forest so fast. Much faster than any wild horse I've ever seen. Sorry, don't mind my rambling. I don't even know why I'm telling you all this. Let's hope Red Wine likes his gift. Oh, sorry, what were we doing? This guy is so ditzy. It's like, okay. Let's go back to the travel stone. I'm guessing I don't have to dismount my horse. Or maybe I do. I guess I do. Okay, so ranch, stable. That is really handy. Although everything disappears for a second. <laughs> How much potential do you have? You have still quite a lot of potential. Not that much trust though, so what is your tameness? So I guess all the horses that you've had prior to this update, your tameness will probably be at 100%. And then we're gonna go take a look at, we're gonna get a baby and take a look at, see if I can get this little one to go with me. Come here. Watch mama get upset. So we're gonna head with the baby, we're gonna head over to the um, round pen and see if we didn't have to pay for that. Your horse can't fall. Wait, what? <gasps> no, what's wrong with this? Oh my God. Okay, there's a glitch. Oh no, okay, now it's not. So there's a glitch. So apparently they don't like going, going out of the fence. Well, let's go see. The round pen does look better from this point. Anyway, I have not built my covered arena on this area, so it, it looks a little odd. So you can go, you have different camera angles. So you've got an overview. Wow, a top down, that's a little disconcerting. The fence line, first person, or the horse's view, which, okay. Uh, probably, and you can either choose a single jump, double jumps, four jumps, or empty. So let's let's try two jumps for right now. And this is gonna tell his gait. 
So he's already got 100% tameness, but he doesn't have trust as much yet. So you can tell them to slow down, to speed up, and you can shorten the lead rope. Not sure. Okay, so if we tell them to speed up, speed up, so trot. Oh, nice. I think I'm probably going to want to go first person in this. Oh, so there's a calm down. Oh, look at that. That is so cute. So is this training his speed and jump? And then you shorten the lead line to bring him in. So if I go into first or fence line, fence line, no, first person. There we go. That looks cute. So extend the lead, speed him up. And he jumps over, it's so cute. At least I don't have to tell him to jump. Okay, so he's he's actually running out of energy, or she's actually running out of energy. So we're going to shorten the lead rope. That is adorable. Slow down. Aw. What a good kid. Oh, you can hide the interface too. Oh, God. Did not see that. Okay. So then we're done with the train. Oh, that's so stinking cute. That is adorable. Now, I want to see what happens with the bucking if we get a wild horse what happens with the bucking so i'm going to try and put her back in through the fence or the through the pasture and see what happens so there is a bit of a glitch well, let's see when one of my pregnant mares is due um hello did she go back with her mom yes well, that was interesting. She just flew across the pasture. Hello, Mama. She's a silver bay done of Vero. She's really dirty. Her, tra her tra training trait is a homebody. She loses less energy while training at home. And then she is the mysterious never poops. And she is a superstar. She earns bonus money per competition. What a, what a good girl. But she also has 100% tameness. So yeah, all your previous horses, wild or not, are going to have 100% tameness until you get a new horse, either baby or wild. So we can give you an apple. We are going to trim your tail and your mane. And we are going to send you to the stable. And you, I think you are a grown up, somebody who grew up. Yes. Sweet Leaf has now a yearling. Dapple Light Chestnut. Okay, so we can give you a little brush of brush of. She's a 14 hand filly. So I'm wondering if the young adults are 14 hands because they're not fully grown yet. And then because they were before the, the um, update, they'll grow to 15 hands. That could be. All right, let's see what we've got today. So nothing, nothing's happened. <gasps> Wild horses in Lupine Meadow. Yes, please. Okay, so I'm still trying to remember what everything is. So this girl's pregnant. She's also a no pooper, superstar, and a homebody. Oops, I don't need to do that. And she will give birth in six days. Okay. So I probably will bring back Wild Horse just to try that training out and see what it does. So let's go take Sneaky Wolf. We're gonna go to the meadow. Let's go to, um, let's go to the horse statue. Yeah, you try and traveled. Okay, so where are the horses? Uh, oh, they're way the heck over here. What? They are way the hell over there. So we're gonna time travel to the to the training arena. 
because that's a lot of writing and that's kind of close but not really okay so meadow training arena and I love that you're off your horse when you have to interact with it but then you're on your horse when you arrive it's like oh well okay so we're gonna go check out the wild horses. And he just found 217 gold, I love this horse. My new favorite horse. I can just ride around and find money and be rich. What the heck? <laughs> That's absolutely fantastic. What is this? Gold charm, wait, what? Gold, gold charm blessed me with statue, what? What, what, wait, what? Okay, so this is the gold, the stones that she was talking about. I had no idea what it was. I thought it was just something that I was going to collect, like a uh, grain or something. But no, it was some kind of buff. But I'm not seeing a buff anywhere. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Look at the sandy one. He's cute got a couple of patterns we've got whoa one two three four splash patterns I think I'm gonna go for this guy or girl whatever Ooh, look at the black one I think I might just round them all up so when I have them rounded all up I will be I will come back and show you what we've got and we'll pick one see you shortly okay we are back let's see what we have as far as heights it doesn't look like that you can tell. Well, maybe. Like this one might be a little bit taller than this one. Hmm. It's hard to say. <gasps> fifteen two. Okay, she's a fifteen two. So she is a little taller than most. Black base splash. All beginner. I don't think I have these pens upgraded. 15-1. Okay. But you don't get to know their personalities, which is interesting. Oh, all intermediate. Okay, that's good. 14-3. And I just found my horse. My horse is just standing over there. Just standing over there, and he just found 222 gold. What? <laughs> so he's 15-1. What about you? Sixteen. So is she measurably? I think she did not. Well, maybe she did. I can't quite tell. I'd have to do them side by side compared. She maybe is, because she's 16 hands. So we've got 15 to... Oops. Fourteen hands. Okay. Did I do you? No. So 14 hands is going to be smaller, of course, than 15 or 16. 15, 3, that's quite large. Oh, she did change it, because that one over there is smaller. This is the 14 hand stallion, so you can, you can kind of see. So she did raise and increase the price uh, heights. Interesting. Yeah, look at these two. This, this one is 16. She's the tallest. This one's 15 too, so she's almost as tall. It's just such a subtle, such a subtle difference. Okay, so you had intermediate. You had all beginner. I think you were. This one was the best stats. This is this, a 14-3. So I think even though the others have a better pattern, we're going to take this home and this one home and see uh, what there's no stall available. Are you kidding? 
All right, we're gonna leave these horses here because supposedly as long as they're in the corral, they won't run away. We've gotta go sell uh, one of our kids, one of our young horses. Oh, wait, can I, can I go to town? Let me use this. I wanna to go to town and I wanna to go to the statue. So that's kind of convenient. So now I have to just remember which one I'm selling and not sell the wrong one. Sweet Leaf. Sweet Leaf is the one we're selling. Yep, Sweet Leaf. 15 hand. Okay. <laughs> I did not want to sell that, that uh, Tobiano one we had. This is going to be making everything interesting. Okay, so 5,700, that's not bad for a baby. All right, back. So now we should have a stall. So we can go over here and go back to the, I think, Aisha's house. So if we go to the meadow, if we go to Aisha's house, it should be close enough to the Because the thing, the um, horse pen is just over here. So then we can take that black one back, and then we can play with the round pen. So those travel stones are very handy, very handy indeed. He just found 181 gold just sitting there. Okay, so we've got all our horses. This is 14-3 stallion, all intermediate. We're going to adopt him. We're going to play around in the round pen. We'll probably sell him because I don't need another stallion. I've got two. Um, go to the entrance. And then we can go here. Oh, no, go, go to ranch and go to stable. That is very helpful. Okay. Okay, give you a little brush. And then pull our other guy out and see what we can do. Hey, buddy. Let's get on you. Oh, did you see that? He's bucking. Look at that. Oh, he's pitting in his ears and everything. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Okay. That is not as big of a buck as I was expecting, but he was just like kicking out going, yeah, get off me. <laughs> that is priceless. So now we definitely have to lunge him because his tameness, let's see if we can check it out. His tameness is at zero. Oh, he's at 7% tameness. 0% trust. So, okay, here's his his training trait. So his training trait is strong. He trains endurance skill is twice as fast. He's a mentor. He gives their full more inherited skills. Ooh. And his earning trait is popular. He sells for more in the auction house. Okay. All right. Might be worth breeding you. Okay, so I'm going to go for um, first person. I'm going to put four jumps in here and I'm going to hide the interface. So I'm going to ask him to speed up. Oh, calm down. Okay, what was that jump? There we go. Good job. So we'll go around once at all. Whoops. Okay, it's kind of glitchy going over the jumps like this. Oh, wow. Okay, now we'll ask him to speed up. All right, calm down. I'm guessing this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Good boy. It's a little glitchy going over the... Oh. Oh, he's just pinning his ears and kicking out. Okay, slow down. Good boy. Good job. 
Key speed up. Good boy. You slow down. Yes. Good boy. I'm going to shorten the lead and bring you in. Good boy. Extend the lead. Calm down. Yep. <laughs> He's a little spicy. Now I don't know if this because it's showing the speed and the whatnot. If that's if it's not showing that it's giving them points. Yeah, it's a little glitchy going over the jumps, but still. Let's shorten the lead and bring him in. Good boy. Send it and bring it out. Oops, that was a little awkward. <laughs> it's, it's kind of painful to watch the glitch. Oh, calm down. Good boy. I'm just kind of trying to use his energy up. Get him to go in between transitions. Up. Oh, okay. Okay. Easy there, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, he's doing so good. I'll ask him one more time. Good boy. <laughs> that was so funny when I got on him. I got on him and I was like, why am I hitting W and he's not going anywhere? I'm like, what the heck? Good boy. He wasn't good. He was just and I just then I noticed he was kicking back and I'm like, really? <laughs> Forgot about the tameness thing. I was like, oh, he's just being snarky because he doesn't know what to do and he's got a stranger on his back. Got it. Hundred percent. Okay. Do we put him back in the stall? We can put some bedding down. And his not bad. Not bad skills. Get some wood shavings, give him a brush. He is coal black. Give him some food. Oops. Coal. So 14.3. So she's 14 hands. He's 14.3. Okay, so let's see here. Interesting. So I don't know what I'm going to do. So I wonder how she'll do. Her tameness is at 100%, though. Her trust isn't, though. That's interesting. Her tameness is at 100%, but her trust isn't. Oh. I wonder if my jump arena is still jacked up because my my arenas have been jump, jacked up to the point where I can't use them. So we go in and you select like a beginner flower fence, begin the course, and then it's like, oh, okay, no, okay, it's, it's back. That's nice. Okay, because before, every minute I entered the ring, everything would disappear. I was like, oh, really? Okay, so we're going to go in. I think you can you do a race until 8. So we're going to go in and try and do a race. We're going to do the, the stone travel. They really should have it where you have to collect something. 
in order to open the stones up like an actual quest instead of just like, oh, go go look at it and oh yeah, it, it recognizes you. That, I think that would be more, no, come here. Yep. Halter, yes, there we go. So we're gonna go into town, we're gonna go to the statue. But I mean, they're great. I, I love that they're, they're there, but it's like, I think we kind of need like a quest, gather some materials, have some more forgeables in the area that we can gather, make a potion or something, you know, whatever. Um, beginner. Because to get more trust, you need to win more races and some other things. Oh my god, that scared me. Sorry about that, that was just my phone. Oop. Excuse me, chickens. <gasps> There's more of those stones. Oh, okay, they're in every area. Those round glowy stones, we're gonna have to investigate. We came in first, yay. Okay, so her tameness went from seven to nine with that. Or not tame is her trust. Her trust went from seven to nine. Okay, so let's go look at that that um, the glowy stone thing because apparently they're all around. Because I found two in Lupine Meadow, and one of them I ran over one because it was glowing and it gave me something a buff of some kind. I don't know if it was like um, excuse me chickens. I don't know what it was. So I'm gonna have to pay more attention. Um, we're gonna walk over it. He blesses me with potential. But didn't I already have 100% potential? So, okay. Well, I'm not sure what that means then. So apparently there's more of these all over and at certain points if they're glowing, you can get a little bit more. <clears throat> hey, come back here. A little bit more potential or a little bit more of something else whatever whatever your area you're in so here's another one so it doesn't tell you what it is but oh, look there's this wow there's a stone here too so she can eat two treats okay so we're gonna take her and train her up so her 28 what's her lowest flexibility okay so we're gonna go to the rocky mountains Uh, mountain flexibility arena travel oh look 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 okay so let's let's do this experiment she has 24% flex right now 24% there's a glowy stone here Sunday cheer blesses you with energy wait what Okay, I'm really confused. The, oh, wait, wrong way. The Flex Arena is that way. Did not see it. <laughs> My bad. So Rocky Mountain, those stones will give you energy. Oh, there's a pumpkin. So her flex seal is at 24, so we're going to get that up because I want to breed her. Wow, that's really taken a lot of... Dang! Yeah, she's like out. So we're going to feed her a treat, um, give her a pear. 
Yep. And so her flexibility is now at 34. So now we're going to travel and do jump to try and get these up. Okay. Wait, there's a bridge that goes there? I don't remember that ridge being there. There's one of those stones over there. Is it glowy? It is not. There is an apple here. So I guess, I guess these stones only glow, you only get one a day for whatever reason, not one per area. I seriously don't remember this bridge being here. I, I could be just wrong, but I don't remember this bridge. I remember this being an all open area. Maybe she changed it because the statue, and I don't remember these being here. Wow, that took a lot. Okay, let's see. I know. She's doing so good. Okay, so the first one took a big hunk and then the rest of them are smaller, okay. So that's a little bit better. Okay, so we were at 28. Now we're at 31, 34. So let's see if we can do endurance. So her energy is at 17. So we can give her another pair. Then we can go to the endurance center. And instead of having to walk everywhere, so we're going to go to Pine Forest, the endurance arena. Ha <laughs> ha, this is so much easier. Okay, so now her endurance is 34, speed's 33, jump's 31, flex is 34, and her potential's down to 12. Okay, so that's good. So now we can just take this back and go home. Interesting. Yeah, see, there's another one of those circles. So I guess each area gives you a different buff, but you can only get one buff a day. Um, so you would pick whether it's potential or... Um, I guess energy that's that's a bizarre one but okay stable we should be able to mow the lawn wouldn't that be funny if we can mow the lawn get a little riding tractor and mow certain areas of your farm <laughs> I'm thinking of dinkum too much <laughs> so so I'm gonna bring her to this guy who is you know instant fertility always takes so I'm like okay I'm gonna try and get some more babies and then we're gonna play with the other baby sneaky wolf 15 hand and 15 hand 94 percent chance of pairing okay so first I want coal oh, no I don't want coal see they look the same she's 15 and he's 14 three so you should he actually looks a little taller than her with his ears, but you should see a disparity. Okay, 
Okay, so they have a 100% chance of pairing today. Holy shit. And then we're going to go talk to Liam and see if we can fix these other two pastures. I should have enough, maybe. No, I don't have enough for the, uh, the other arena. I'm going to take this guy and see what we can do. Okay, so we're going to go to the forest and we're going to go to Liam's home. So I think he is, he's at his workshop, okay. So we'll see how much those other two pastures are. Hey, dude, you're supposed to be working. What's up? Shop. Ooh, luxury stable. 250. We can't do that. First pasture is 8, so we're going to do that. Second pasture is 32. We're going to do that. Um, let's see, indoor arena is 155. Retirement's 22. I'm not going to do that just yet. So 250. That's four more stalls. Okay. All right. So that's good. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Vibrant Blizzard is, vibrant blizzard is pregnant. <gasps> uh, more lupine meadow horses. It's twice now. What the heck? Okay, so we'll let those guys out. I know you went out of the fence. Okay, so put these guys back. Good job, buddy. Then turn to the stable. So we're gonna go to town and we're gonna go to the horse statue so we can sell um, coal. That's a lot of nickering. So we're gonna sell coal, 8,000, that's nice. He is a pretty boy. And then I'm gonna look at the auction house and see. So we did use a little bit of his potential and we almost got him, oh, Flex is up 39, wow, okay. Dang, 93, 96, 98. Good boy, thank you. First, yes. <clears throat> but I wanted to take her to, <laughs> I wanted to take her to, I think, oh, wow, she really did lose less energy. Holy cow. All right, let's go um, over to the stone. We need to get her skills up. So then her flex is 29, 31. Okay, so that's better than it was. And then we'll go home and I will put her in the breeding pen. Yay! Okay, ranch, stable, travel. Okay, so 100% chance because it's because of sunset. It's like, okay, that works. So then we're going to go to sleep. Oats, really? Never seen oats in this town before. That's new. Too. Not bad. Ooh, Rocky Mountain horses. Okay, so we have three foals on the ground now. 
So let's go see what we did. I slept a bunch of days to so that they could all get uh, drop their foals at the same not the same time, but a, you know within we could see them at the same time. So the music may be a little off. Uh, so look at this one. We've got this one, which is an apricot dawn fluffy fox. So that's Fairy Spark. She's 10 hands, so she's kind of big for a baby. And I apologize if the music is, who is her mom? Fairy Spark, okay. And then we've got this one, who is Bubbly Fox. She's eight one, she's a dapple sandy chestnut, affectionate, fertile, and harvester. She is really cute. She's a spitting image of her dad. She looks exactly like her dad, exactly. So that's one, two. And then there's this one over here. Another spitting image of dad. <laughs> a dappled dark chestnut. So harvester, fertile. Is this the one I just, no, this is bubbly lemon. I was gonna say, this is the same one. So this is a colt who's eight, three. And yes, I know, honey. So that's a cult. And then this is, whoops, a map. This is a 10 hand field. She's going to be big. And then the other one over here is also an eight hand field. So we have two that are the same size and one that's already quite large. Okay, so that is where we're going to end it right now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye now.